I went to the Hamilton Cat Show to find the most drawable cat. Being adorable must be a crime, because gosh dang, were there a lot of these fluffy babies behind bars. Which is understandable, because it would be insane to have that many cats roaming free. It turns out there's a lot of cats at the cat show. I saw fluffy cats, tiny cats, some cats were smooching, some of them were lost. A bunch of them were sleepy from a long day of being cats. But luckily, we showed up just in time for the best of the best kitty contest. Surely, this would be where I found my muse. My muse. There was a lady touching the cats like a toddler would if it was the first time that they had seen a cat. A lot of people were doing it. Um, apparently, this is the best way to get a look at their face, which is their most important feature. <clears throat> To be honest, I'm pretty sure a lot of these weren't even cats. This one's got a big eye, like Sonic. Um, this one I don't think was even breathing, uh, but most of them at least seemed like they just didn't even know what they were there for. To make my job easier, I went over to the kitty registry to see if I could find some drawable kitties there. I found some excellent cats in the book. They even had some big black and white kitties, but I still hadn't find the, found the right one for me. Looking around, I found some other big cats in a really smelly back room. They weren't as fluffy, uh, and their claws were really big, their meow sounded weird, and there were kids rug rubbing them with sticks. My friend thought they were really funny for some reason. It turns out these were actually cows. Uh, I should have known because I have a poster of all the cows in my room and a cow keychain and also my family were farmers. They weren't demons, this is a drawing. Uh, we found the cat show again and now it was time for the kitty costume contest. The theme, Herlock Holmes. There were some decent contenders but none compared to this fine specimen. The mustache, the tall hat, his furrowed brow, this was the one. It was time to leave the cat show to finally draw the perfect cat. On our way out, we saw some great custom license plates, but I couldn't let myself get distracted by them. I had a mission to accomplish. I tried out a bunch of different ways of drawing him, but nothing seemed to come out right. Had I made a mistake? Had I gotten kitty tunnel vision and missed the point? Sure, I'd found the cat that speaks to me, but I realized every cat I saw was inspirational in its own way. Looking back, I learned a lot at the cat show. Cats come in all shapes and sizes and have their own features that make them unique, but every cat is perfect. I love you babies. Thanks for watching.